In this video, we'll show you how to work with the sensing inputs on your FinchBot and Snap Programming. Open the Sensing category in Level 4. At the bottom of the category, you will find the FinchBot Sensing options. Starting with the light sensors, these detect the amount of light the right and left sides are being exposed to. The sensor ranges anywhere from 0 at total darkness and 100 at full brightness. Since the room I'm in is relatively dim, the number stays at 15 to 19. The Finch Light Sensors block shows the values of both the right and left sensors in a list. The Finch Acceleration blocks measure the g-forces of the different axes on the bot. Values range from negative 1.5 to 1.5 g's. The Finch's x-axis measures from beak to tail. The y-axis measures from wheel to wheel. And the z-axis measures from the top of the bot to the bottom. Just like the light sensors block, the Finch Accelerations block will show you all of the acceleration sensors in a list. The Finch Orientation block refers to the current position of the Finch bot. By clicking on it, the block will give the position. Possible responses are level, upside down, beak up or down, left or right wing down, and in between. Moving on to the obstacle blocks, these determine if there is anything in front of the bot on the right and left sides. These are boolean or predicate blocks meaning they are true if there is an object 1 to 4 inches from the sensor. If there is no object, the block will return false. By selecting the Finch Obstacles block, you will see the sensor values listed. The Finch Temperature blocks will note the temperature of the room the bot is in, in Fahrenheit and Celsius. And now you know the sensing blocks for the Finch bot. Next, we'll show you how to combine the sensing and output blocks to create a program. For more info, check out our other tutorials on YouTube.